Hey guys, this is Brent from the Beaver Builder team, and I've got a layout that I'm working on right now with a couple tricky areas that I want to show you how I'm handling. Uh, we're going to look at some custom CSS inside Beaver Builder. And also, there's a new feature coming in Beaver Builder 1.9 that's very cool and I want to show you. Uh, it's going to open up a world of new layout possibilities. So, um, let's go take a look. So before we dive into our changes, I want to give you a peek at what our finished layout is going to look like. We started out at the top with a, a full height section uh, that breaks it down into three core topics. Uh, if we keep going down, we've got some article content with some large photos that trail off the edge. You'll see more of that as we go down. And then we've got this section with sort of a quad grid of photos. And what I want to do is show you uh, an incomplete version of this so that we can look at some of the trickier areas and how I'm solving them. So let's switch over to that. Okay, so we're in Beaver Builder, and this first section with the three columns is nice, but there's a problem. Uh, as you can see, these Learn More buttons, they, they don't line up the way they're supposed to, and uh, this is pretty common. Uh, the web doesn't really offer an easy way to solve this, at least it didn't up until recently, uh, but it's pretty normal to have content in different columns that, that isn't the exact same length. Uh, so what we're going to do is use a feature in Beaver Builder that's been around for a couple versions uh, to help us out. We're going to go into the column settings and we're going to turn on equalize column heights. Uh, it actually is on already. We're going to cha change that to yes if it's not and then we don't have to worry about content alignment here. Let's save that and that's going to turn on CSS Flexbox. If you're not familiar with Flexbox, Go check it out, it's a fairly new standard. Be aware, you may have browser compatibility issues to deal with if you're looking for older versions of IE. For what I'm doing in this layout, it's not a problem. So what I wanna do now that we have Flexbox turned on uh, is I wanna push these buttons to the bottom uh, of their respective columns. So they each have a learn more button class applied to them. This is actually a button module. And I'm gonna go up here into my tools into the layout CSS. Let me pull that over to the side. And let's come down here. So I've got my class already here. But all we have to do once uh, equal column heights is turned on is use our margin to push away from the content in the shorter column. So I'm going to say, uh, oops, margin top. And I'm going to set it to auto. And as you can see, that pushed our buttons down. And now, no matter how much content is in each of these columns, the shorter ones are going to all make sure that their Learn More buttons line up. There we go. In this next section, we've got some content over here with a pull quote, and we've got an image. And the image is pretty cool, but um, I'd really like it to be big. And uh, there are cases where I'd, I'd really like images like this to just trail off the edge of the screen. And so what I've done is I've added a class to this photo module and we're going to go back into our layout CSS. And jump down here. What I'm going to do is allow the image to break out of its container. So in responsive design, we generally want images to be no more than 100% of their parent's container as far as their size goes. Uh, but in this case, we're going to allow this image to continue off the edge of the page. So let me grab my selector. And it's pretty specific because we're going to override what Beaver Builder is doing, which is to give it a max width of 100%. And in this case, we're going to say max width is none. And that gives us our image. Now, there's a couple caveats here. One of them is that now we've created this kind of horizontal scroll because our image is going off the edge of the page, and we're going to deal with that. The other problem is that now our image is not going to size with its container, so it, it is kind of at the mercy of however big the image is. If I was giving it a much larger image file, it would be much larger on screen. And so you need to be aware of how large of an image you're, you're giving to these, uh, to these breakout images. But what I'm going to do to solve the scroll problem is um, I'm going to get our FL Builder content selector, which is the root node of our layout. And I'm just going to turn overflow hidden on. That way, the horizontal scroll won't happen. 
and any other images in my layout that do this uh, won't cause scroll either. So there we go. Now we have our photo here. Uh, one of the benefits of using a photo instead of a background image here is that we can still be able to click on the image itself and blow it up in Lightbox. So as we continue down our page, there's one more area that I want to look at, and that is this right here. Now it looks nice, but there is a problem in how we've set this up. And traditionally in Beaver Builder, this is how you'd have to do this. Um, if I resize these columns, you can see there's, there's three columns here. And because of that, these images aren't resizing together. So in Beaver Builder 1.9, which is in beta, I have a way to solve this. So let me show you what that is. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab another two column group drop it inside, okay? And instead of having three columns this time, we're gonna have two, and I'm gonna go and grab another two column group and drag it inside this other column. Great, so now it looks like we have three columns, but we actually have two columns with two columns in the left column. And I'm gonna drag these images up inside. Okay, so now it looks the same, but if I resize the column, you can see the images now size together because I'm resizing the parent column, not the child columns. The only other thing I'm gonna do here is go back into our column settings and turn on equalize column heights. And this time I'm gonna change content alignment to center. So now, whenever I grab my columns, they size together and whichever column is the shorter is going to stay vertically centered in the space. Hope you guys enjoyed that demo. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other ideas for topics or you'd like to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments. Um, also, if you liked any of the images we were using today, they are all freely available on unsplash.com. Uh, if you don't have a copy of Beaver Builder already, go over to wpbeaverbuilder.com and get yourself a copy. And if you do, check out the 1.9 alpha build of Beaver Builder and check out columns and columns and responsive settings. There's a ton of cool stuff in there and you can go check that out on your accounts page. As always, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.